Hi right, and welcome to Tax TV. Uh, today I've got Andy on. Nice to have you on board, Andy. Uh, Hi mate. Gonna have a you know a big game coming up tomorrow against Derby County. I know yeah. we've won them at our place. It were under Joel Alman after Marcus Shop had gone, but um, a bit of run what we've been having, Andy. With results, what's been you know what been getting some wins out of. Do you think we're going into a Derby County with a bit better? Mentality side and a bit better in uh, form. Do you think? Um, I actually fancy his chances, to be honest, um, and it, it's good to say that because, mm. um, like I said before, um, you, you just run out of things to say. Um, you know, we're losing and everything, but yeah, um, where we're playing and results that we've had, um, yeah, I do fancy his chances tomorrow, and uh, they lost their last game as well. Um, so, yeah, I think momentum is wheels. Um, we've just got to play like a team like we have been doing and I, I think we'll be all right tomorrow. Looking forward to the game, actually. Yeah. I know I know, yeah, uh, I know. that you're going to be going to it. Um, obviously, with results, what, you know, get a good win against Middlesbrough and fair enough, for the last 15, 20 minutes, it was like, a bit like Alamo, but what I was looking at as well as in the players' side and it is it they weren't getting up but like proper technique for causing fate in bodies online, which I think it's that mentality state. And then what it yeah. came on? I think well, Mads Anderson all came on Sheffield and he was like saying, Yeah, we're waiting for the next game now, we're, we're all confident. So I'm thinking yeah. it's breeding confidence. And I've got a bit a bit like you, I'm I'm more hopeful and confident going into Derby game to get a result, whether it's going to be yeah. a draw. And to be fair, I don't think a draw there would be a bad result. No, I'd, um, I'd take a, I mean, whatever happens tomorrow, it's not be all and end all. I mean, we have got, um, is it three home games after? Yeah, um, we've got uh, three on Bob, Stoke, Fulham yeah. and uh, Bristol City, haven't we? So, yeah. So, you know, I, I, next four games um, is going to, you know, tell us where we are going to be. Mm. Um, but yeah, at least we've got a sense that, chance and I never thought I'd uh, be saying this at this stage just be before Derby game um, yeah um, we are playing I think more as a team um, yeah. I said that on one of my videos on uh, my channel the other day, uh, we, we, we seem to be playing more as a team and that's yeah. what's been lacking um, and fighting as well and yeah and let's get credit to um, Bassey and Queener as well. Um, yeah. The the Vic ground running, especially that Bassey, um, took to championship like a fish to water. I think uh, been really, yeah. really good. Yeah, I've been impressed with Bassey. To be fair, I mean, I was one of them. I know they came in like on last day, two long players and Queener. Yeah, he knew he's been in league and Bassey. I was yeah. thinking, is it going to be another visa issue? Is he going to be in and? And when yeah. he went on bench, I'm thinking eh, he's not going to be up to speed. But to be fair, he's proved me wrong, and he has he yeah. has looked that class, you yeah. know, with that class. And I think as well, Andy, is that with that, uh, what can I say? Because we've played in a different league, and we've probably played no disrespect to Barnsley, but a bit better class of um, players as well. Of course, yeah. I think they've like helped the team out as well. They've given them a fresh impetus. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's. That bit of spark in it, what uh, they've given us. Uh, it's just a shame that they're both not our players at the minute. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, um, really impressed with uh, Bassey. I mean, stature-wise, he's not like a physical player to look at, is he? Um, no. He reminds me a little bit, you know, of uh, Josh Scowen. Not on him, but yeah. he's not afraid to get stuck in. Yeah. Um, whether he's up against um, a six-foot-six um, opposition play, it'll get stuck in, well, lad, and that's what we need. Um, yeah. So yeah, I like him and that Queen is his class. Um, if if we do stay up, we'd, we do need to try and uh, put a cheeky bid in and try and get him permanent. I think. Yeah, I mean, like you've just said, there, not not seems to phase him, uh, bearing him uh, and Bassey as well. It just seems to be a trick up his sleeve. He, you know, he's up for it. And one one player I've been impressed with as well is Matty Wolf. Yeah, I think he started against da uh, Derby. Sorry, he started against Bournemouth, and he yeah. looked pretty accomplished. And for the last couple of games, he's been in. I'm like, Do you know what? It looks like he's been playing it all season. It looks really, really up for it. A strong presence. 
And I know it's been said before, but I think if you if you said like a Matty Wolf and a Palmer now, I think the vast majority of fans would be saying Matty Wolf because he just seems to be so assured in his own ability, I think. Yeah, he's, he's doing well, this lad. Well, he has been doing it last couple of games that I've seen. Um, mm. Yeah, and I'm, I'm pleased for him. Uh, and that's what you need as well, somebody to take that chance and yeah. that's what he's doing. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, this is start a, a bit of a run uh, to get us out at bottom three. Um, just a shame that we always seem to leave it till that end of the season. <laughs> yeah, I know a few people have been saying like, well, too little, too late, but mathematically, it's still possible. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. you've only got odd results to go, you know, in our favour uh, with other teams and uh, I'm just looking at fixtures like now. So we've got Derby tomorrow away. We've yeah. got Stoke uh, on Tuesday at home. Fulham at home on Saturday, which I believe is also on Sky. Yeah. Following Tuesday, you've got Bristol City. And then following Saturday, you've got Sheffield United away. But then first game in April, we've got Reading at home. And yeah. we're ready now. So, yeah. do you know what I mean? It, it, you know, yeah. it, there's points for you to be had. And all I'm hoping for is that. I think at the beginning of the week, I think what it Monday or Tuesday, before rumours, uh, not rumours, but Bob clips going about with Collie Woodrow going back and training, and then we're saying, oh, he could be back early, this and other. And I'm like one of these, me, don't rush him back too quick. But if teams playing out of the yard at the minute, albeit yeah. injuries or a silly suspension, I'd, I'd keep that team as it is because it's togetherness. And yeah, it seems to be like linking up, you know what I mean, Andy? I don't know what you yeah. think. No, no, I agree. I agree totally. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not being the best Woodrow fan anyway this season, um, you know, before I got injured. Um, but, it, yeah, it would be nice to have him back. But, yeah, at the um, minute, you know, what why disrupt, um, you know, a, a, a team that's performing well? Um, yeah. I don't think he'll come straight back in anyway, um, especially with injury that he's had. But, uh yeah, it would be nice to have him in latter parts of the season. Uh, it can only be a good thing. Um, it would yeah, be a bad yeah. uh, input, uh, impact sub and all when you think about it. Someone like Woodrow coming on. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? so... Exactly. And th- that's what we need <laughs> off at bench as well, isn't it? Um, well, I've, I've said that for ages. Um, you know, uh, bench has always been uh, weak uh, mm. this season. And yeah, uh, to have uh, Woodrow up bench to gradually come back. Uh, probably for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes of a game will be a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it'd be a good thing. Uh, like I said, with injured was being out with, what's point in rushing him back? And yeah, I'm thinking, well, you probably agree as well. You look at Bassi, Queener, Styles, you look at Morris, them, them up front, they, they, they seem to be having that bit of understanding and when movement off at ball. And whatever it's working, but I press and keep it going. Yeah. Um, and like I say, Zach hasn't been featuring uh, for the last couple of games like now, so whether he's that injured, I don't know. So you look at the bench, it's like what we really got is a threat going forward. Yeah, no. I think we would draw Quinn back, he could make that bit of a difference. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So going into a game against Derby, but I brushed on it, you won't change out, would you? I'll be, no. you know, and I haven't heard out of any injuries drop like that, to be fair, Andy. So, for me, I, I'd more or less keep it the same, I think, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, uh, this is something I can't really... I mean, last couple of weeks, there's been players, aren't we, injuries um, that they've picked up in training. I'm not sure what's going off there, but, uh, yeah, barring that, uh, just keep same side. Um, yeah. To me, it's a no-brainer. Um Keep same side and yeah, like I say, our, our fanciest chances tomorrow. Honestly, do we're taking a fair few down and all, aren't we? I think it's over a thousand down at minute, like so. There's going to be a fair few going down. Yeah, uh, I'll, be, down, yeah. I'll be racing down after work. I finish. Uh, I've changed <laughs> my shift. I finish at one. Uh, so from Capita <laughs> at Wasp, uh, straight down and one. You know, watch out for, watch out for average speed cameras and all, Andy, when you're on your way down, mate. There's a fair few dotted about. I know, I've seen them. I've got rope planned already, don't worry about that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, it's been in news and all about Derby. Uh, it looks like they've met the obligations for EFL because they've come out like now recently and said that, you know, they've got enough cash for you, miraculously. I mean, which is a good thing, you don't want to see them go under, but 
you know, they've got enough cash until end of the season because they're still, you know, no nobody's coming for him. And I know some fans have been on like saying, well, did you get Mark and that same? And did you get, you know, you, you know, your buddies and that all the same as well? It's yeah. it seems to be. I don't know. You don't want to see any club go under. You don't want to see any club financially struggle. But in the same respect, you'd like to think that everybody be treated as equal and not just because yeah. uh, our bigger club is under. I don't know what you will think on that. No, exactly. I was just going to say the same thing. Um, yeah, don't like to see any club go under like your Bowie um, and clubs like that. But how many more chances are going to get? How many yeah. extensions? Um, what smaller clubs all suffered? Um yeah, it it makes you think, you know, why why bother? Why have these rules anyway? If they're going to break them, um, financial fair play anyway. Um, I, I think it's a joke any, anyway, if yeah. I'm honest with you. Yeah. Um, most of the time, clubs can just break it and just pay it fines, um, yeah. which a, a few clubs has got promoted that way. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, how many Since... more chances are they going to get? That's it. I mean, it seems to it seems to be a bit of a mockery, and like you know what me and Andy have said, we don't want to see any club go under far from it. But because it's always fans what seem to suffer, and it's like you know people, people with drama and directors and pe- you know financial people above. And I think did it happen to what it QPR when they got done for it and they paid the fine, and it just seems to be if you've got the money, you can buy your way out yeah. of it, kind of thing. Yeah. It's not fair for the rest of the side, is it? No. I think um, going back a bit, I mean, I might be wrong. Um, I think Wolves were like that as well when they got promoted out at Championship. I'm mm. sure Wolves were, um, you know, on borderline of yeah. financial fair play, but they could afford it. So, yeah, yeah you know, but they it's might like as well if they can. It's like your small dark league suffer, but if you've got financial clout behind you, it's, it's all right. You can bend, roll and yeah. I mean, out in it. I must admit, I think personally, I think uh, Rooney at Derby's worked uh, oh. a miracle there, yeah. if I'm honest, uh, under restrictions that he's had, um, pulling them is points it, back as well. well um, there's a transfer embargoes and, like I said, points. What were it? Matt, yeah, two, uh, it were two uh, points reductions, wasn't it? Yeah. Totally 21 in total. So, yeah, Rooney, he's done, he's, I think he's done a great job. Myself, like, yeah. You've just said there, under. Yeah, for, no, fair play to him. Uh, I, I think he's done right well. And uh, whatever happens to him, uh, to Derby this season, uh, I think he, you know, really can take uh, a lot of credit for what he's done. Uh, yeah. Honestly, do. And uh, yeah, Derby, I think Derby, uh, Derby fans should be proud as well, what they've done. Massive, yeah. It, it all boils down to fans. It's fans that suffer at the end of the day. Um, yeah. You know, it's our football clubs that they're messing about with. And uh, it's not good. No. And it's a good point there what you just said about Derby County fans because you look at the last couple of games, they've been nearly sellouts, 35,000, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, for, for where they are, it's like oh, it's always fans in it what suffer, regardless. Yeah. I mean, we've had our issues, you, we, we all, you know, fans will probably uh, all relate to what our uh, issues have been off at pitch, but like I say, it's always fans what seem to suffer. And you know, your Derby County fans are still going week in, week out. And fair play when we, you know, when we on the travels as well, they take a fair following, you know. So it's you, you, you feel for fans because they're paying hard earned money for it, you know, they're paying hard earned money. So it's like fans will always suffer, but fans yeah. will always be there with club, even after you know what goes off in boardroom. So, yeah, good point there, Andy. Fans always travel up and down country and they're shilling out of the money, yeah. Uh, so obviously, we're going to be going to Derby. We've just said about team selection would most like to keep it as it is, knowing that we can go into it. What would you what would you take as a result from Vave and Andy? Um I've got a feeling that we'll win it two one, if I'm honest. But right. um a draw, um I, th- I think a draw would be all right. Yeah. Honestly though. Um but yeah, I'm I'm just like I'm I'm confident about tomorrow, honestly I'm but <laughs> This is Barnsley that we're talking about, isn't it? So, uh, you know, we, we, we're down there for a reason, aren't we? Let, let's, not, let's not forget about that. Let's not yeah. get a red of a sense. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, um, n- nothing short than a, a draw for me, but um, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Reds. Yeah, 
Do you know what? I'm 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 thinking two or one Barnsley, but I just think there's gonna be goals in this one. Uh yeah. what chance we created. And I'm gonna go two two. I think it's yeah. I think it's gonna be two apiece. And look, I I, I don't think a point uh, uh, at Derby County is a bad result whatsoever. Uh, no. to be fair. Because I mean we go back a couple of weeks, we're all saying how well Derby was, they overtook us and you know, and now we seem to be on that bit of momentum and what like what you've said earlier on, Andy, is that on your uh, on in record on your channel is that we seem to be playing now as a as a team as a unit and it's more yeah. togetherness for you. I think with these two long players coming, it's brought it even closer. Martin Devaney, you know, at under twenty threes, it's a, another factor in it as well. Uh, I think that's out. I, yeah. I honestly do think that's out. Devin Devaney, yeah, uh, with Paya, um actually, yeah, yeah. It makes you wonder why he wants involved a bit earlier. I'd like to see him a bit. Mm. I know. I know some fans have like said, and some people have said, "Oh, yeah, but uh, you don't want to damage Devaney." But if he's got the knowledge at under twenty threes and set it back development set up what he does, I think such as like your Matty Wolf. Fair enough, he's not going to be playing week in week out, but he'll know what he can bring to the side, and it, it's proved it. I don't think he looks out of place. See, th- this is what I can understand as well. Um, like you've just said, one of Devaney. There from uh, from the word go. Um, David knows more about club than any player that's there at the moment. Yeah. Um, manager, he obviously knows uh, club more than manager, and even owners. He's been there and done it with us. He's been there forever as Devaney. Yeah. Um and you've got a knowledge um, there. He's a football guy. He's got a football brain as Devaney. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about Assel. Um, mm. Personally, I, w- I would put Assel in first team limelight. I'd, I mean, I, I don't know him personally, but he don't come across to me like um, a coach. He looks. I, I think he's like too nice. Um, yeah. If that makes sense. Um, but yeah, uh, Devaney, I, I think he's making a difference, especially with youngins as well. Um, yeah. Like your Matty Wolves, I think is there supporting them as well while they, you know breaking through into the first team. Um, but, yeah, it, to me, it's got me making a difference, without a doubt. Yeah. And, uh, like I said, we, if Assel, you know, is like with uh, youngsters, it might be, it might be, a, if Devane's going to be more involved in the first team, you think Assel then move up from, like, the youngsters, probably into that under-23 development role. So, a steady, uh, you know, is, what can I say? A steady progression up. To see, yeah. oh, he might be comfortable just doing the youngsters, and if that's yeah. if 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 that's what he wants to do, fair play to him. There's no point making a decision if he's comfortable at that level. Then fair enough, he might want to challenge and go for twenty threes. I'd do that, but like I said, I think Devaney, like good point there as well, is that he is not he knows the players. He knows he's been there, like you said, longer than owners and uh, longer than players. What a beer. He knows what it means to community, and what it means to yeah. town as well, and I think. If he, you know, you look, Matty Wolf is a local lad come good, and they know what it means to town as well. You know, when it, young Aiden Marsh has been on Accroy, youngsters like that from town, they know what it is. You know, it's your mum and dad watching, your family watching from stand. So you, you're you going to be up for it. You're going to be proud for it. So, and long may it continue. Uh, long yeah. may it continue. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, great to have you on, Andy. Uh, appreciated yeah, it. Good you. insight. Safe journey, down. Watch out for average speed cameras, my friend, as well. Don't, don't, don't. I know you've already mapped it out, so that's all right. So just remember. So, yeah. I, might, I might get a message just before you set off. Don't forget, Andy, them, uh, average speed cameras, mate. Just get a, a, a so reminder. Uh, finish work talking about injured pigeons for RSPC. <laughs> I'm dashing down to watch uh, Bambley. <laughs> well, yeah, a, a good day tomorrow. <laughs> good day tomorrow. Good, we'll come back, for, come back with three points and be a right day, that, mate. Be a right day. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> so I just want to thank everybody for watching uh, please leave your likes and comments please leave your score predictions as well win, lose or draw what what, you, what, what bounds are going to come away with but yeah once again thanks for Andy thanks for watching You're welcome. Uh, great to have you on guys come on you Reds